The electric universe is a dynamic universe. In our own celestial neighborhood, the Earth, Sun, and galaxy are not the disconnected bodies that standard astronomy has envisioned for centuries. It is electrical connectedness that drives the universe. And on our own planet, it's the electrical connection to the Sun and the Sun's connection to the galactic environment that drives Earth's climate and weather. At the forthcoming Thunderbolts Conference, EU 2015, Paths of Discovery, a number of speakers will be presenting evidence that so-called climate change on Earth is a naturally occurring process from the Sun-Earth electromagnetic relationship. One of these speakers is Richard Moore, who received his degree in mathematics from Stanford University in 1964 and is a professional author and researcher into a variety of fields. Today, Richard will offer a brief preview and introduction of his talk entitled The Pulsating Universe and Planet Earth. Long before I heard of the EU model, I had been studying the climate record uh, using the official ice core data. And what I found is that climate follows a very definite pattern. It's a fractal pattern. At whatever scale you look at, you see a series of heating spikes of about the same magnitude occurring at semi-regular intervals. So that there are the spikes that, that come every 100,000 years. Those are the ones that put it into ice ages. Uh, then superimposed on that pattern, there are smaller heating spikes that occur about every 10,000 years, and then still smaller ones about every 1,000 years, and so on down to, to series of even sm smaller spikes. Now, that's a very distinctive pattern. It's not a random pattern. It's the signature of some kind of heating source. And, uh, you know, what kind of energy source delivers semi-regular spikes of energy over a wide range of intensities and frequencies? Um, so at the time I was doing that, those studies, my concern was just to understand what the natural climate pattern was in order to know whether or not to be concerned about carbon emissions. And so it became clear that the recent 200 years of heating has been entirely natural, which answered my concerns. And at the time, I didn't, even, I didn't dream I might be able to figure out what was causing the natural variation. Then I heard about the electric universe model and immediately jumped in and devoured all the material that was available. It's really nice to have an entire branch of science all documented in one place. So what we have then is the sun is powered by a, a current, Birkeland current, and that current is connected to lots of other stars and ultimately to the galactic center. So obviously it's gonna be subject to current fluctuations due to discharge events that occur in the galactic center or anywhere along the Birkeland current that the sun's connected to. And discharge currents, discharge events occur over a wide range of scales. And the current fluctuations are gonna be passed onto the earth at the current coming in at the poles. And that's exactly what the climate record looks like. It looks like a noisy electrical circuit. It looks like many different condensers on the same circuit discharging over a wide range of magnitudes and frequencies and all interfering with one another, which is why it's only semi-regular discharges instead of regular discharges. So positive ions come surging in at the poles and they encounter turbulence in the ionosphere and that causes heating. And the aurora is plasma being heated to glow mode. And that kind of heating would be proportional to current flow. And therefore current spikes would result in heating spikes. So that's my thesis is the climate variation is due to fluctuations in the current coming into the earth, which in turn is due to fluctuations in the current powering the sun. Now, thanks to Ben Davidson, we have empirical evidence in support of this thesis. He has shown a strong correlation between climate and observed solar activity. And it is fluctuations in the current powering the sun that causes variations in solar activity. So solar activity is an indicator of how much current is coming in at the poles. So if that really is, the mechanism for climate variation, that's, you know, that's an interesting result. But even more interesting, it turns out, are the implications that follow from that. The climate record then becomes a window onto electrical activity in the cosmos and in the solar system. And so there's some very interesting conclusions to be drawn from that. And I'll be talking about that at the conference. <laughs>